Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 68, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. We've, um, we've had quite a bit of adventure, quite a bit of discussion, and it's, uh, yeah. We, we've got parties scattered hither and yon, which, you know, it things always go well when you split the party. I mean, not maybe not always. Sometimes. Maybe not sometimes. Um, once in a while? Okay, maybe maybe not so frequent as once in a while, but every now and again, it could happen. Eventually, statistically, it should happen at least once. All right, <laughs> and so we've been bouncing back and forth between conversations and a couple of really interesting twists. And we were in the middle of talking to Mira about some stuff. Oh, oh, hush you. I've rolled plenty playing this game. Not real dice, but the, this game likes me better. A little, mostly, frequently, sometimes. All right. So, Mira just asked us, we took out Visquis, but go... <laughs> I keep wanting to call him Visquis. We took out Visquis, but Godo has him. That means no bounty for me. So that's it. There's nothing else we can do. So how do we get him back? There must be a way to reach Godo. Uh, then how do we get him back? There's no way to get him back. No one knows how to reach Godo except Visquis. And that squid head died in the Jack Jack Tar. The only way to reach Goto is if we had a Jedi. But now, he's got your friend. He doesn't have anybody else he wants captured. Uh, why don't we just try to fly into low orbit and look for a ship? He's got to be in the Narshada system somehow. How does Goto hide his ship? How does he hide his ship? He's got a cloaking device. He's the one that arranges the meetings on his ship, and until then... He can't be found. Trust me, if anyone knew how to track his ship, he'd have every bounty hunter and criminal on Narshada gunning for it. All right. Uh, yeah, we keep seeing the suggestion pop up, so there's got to be a reason for it. There must be a way. I say we hit orbit and start hunting. If you were hunting for Godo's yacht, your freighter would be flying blind. Well, unless it was one of Voga the Hutt's cargo ships. Then it would be snapped up by Godo pretty quick. <laughs> What? Why is that? Godo's been preying on Vaga's freighters for a while now. It's the reason Vaga's had to haul his bulk up here to Narshada from Nelhada. Even with all the traffic mm. around Narshada, Godo seems to always know which ones are Vaga's, and his ship just snaps them up. Uh, so how does... That has been one of the mysteries as we've been going about Narshada. How does he know that? Probably does it by tracking their transponder codes, but no one knows how he's getting them. So if we got one of Ogo's transponder codes, then Godo's ship might come to us? I guess. You'd need to get the codes first, then retrofit your ship so it had the right oh, transponder oh, signal. Oh, I totally know a guy. Vogus Not a problem. Warehouse, until he can find out who's been leaking the codes. You'd have to be a droid to get in there. Well, just by coincidence, I have a droid. I have a new droid for Vogus. <laughs> 2,000 credits. Before I accept this, I must ask you how you Oh. See? Yeah. There should be no problem then. Credits will be transferred to your account as usual. Yeah. All right. Can we get the little bat creature screeching? Yeah, that's it. Walk off. Let's get you to work. Report to C7E3 for assignment. <laughs> Journal entry added. Alright, T3M4 has been sold by the champ to work at Vaga's droid warehouse, and we need to find C7E3 for assignment. I wonder what else is in this warehouse. Um. I certainly hope that rude C7 unit didn't send you over here. Those more recent models oh. have no etiquette programming whatsoever. Uh-huh. 
I think he should be replaced or shipped down to maintenance to direct droids there. But I cannot seem to convince my masters of the logic of the request. Oh, I wouldn't go that far, despite what others would say. A number designation for a C7 unit means far more than an integer increase. Some droids undergo radical changes with each generation. Each numeric jump in sequence can have wide-ranging changes in functionality and temperament. But then, you are a new model yourself. I wouldn't expect you to understand how it feels. Now, was there something I could help you with? I see. Well, good day to you then. Well, that makes me wonder if the other guy has something to say. Should I just talk to him all? I should talk to him all. The droid is busy and ignores you. As well, he probably should. What's in here? Droid motivator boost. Oh, hey. That, uh, you know what? Is it going to finally stop uh, beeping at me? Okay, good. Um, Alright, no, never mind. He's already as upgraded as, as he's going to get. So that's it there. I think this was one of the places we were trying to break into earlier anyway. Yeah, yeah, this is the storage room that we were going to try to break into with uh, Voga the Hut. Alright, so that's you. What about you? He's busy. What's in this box? Ooh. Some more... Oh, another Bronzium Light Battle Armor and Computer Spike. That Computer Spike will probably come in handy. Alright, everybody's busy and ignoring me. Which suits me just fine. But come on, man. Open the box. Droid Molten Cannon and Durability Upgrade. Uh... Hmm. So that's regen 3. What's the durability do? Fort plus 2, con plus 1. Nah, I'll keep the regen. Uh, yep. No, that's about it. Okay. And that appears to be all the boxes so far. I am all right. sorry, but only authorized cargo droids are allowed into the warehouse. I can't oh. permit you to enter due to the sensitive cargo. Uh, but I am sensitive cargo? No, I don't see that as an option. No. In fact, I do not have you on my list of Coding's acquisitions. How did you get in here? I see. <laughs> well, I have no current use for you. I'll assign <laughs> Are you to kidding me? E3. He needs the help to make up for his inferior programming. Yikes. Uh, let's try a persuade check. If you do not wish to comply with these instructions, I can have you given a memory mm. wipe and behavioral reprogramming. Good. Oh. Now report to C6E3. You will be assisting him. I don't think I would have been able to pass a lie check anyway, because, uh, what, what's, what's my persuade? Um. Yeah, persuade is nothing. Yeah, no. Of course it wouldn't be. Why would a droid have charisma? Oh, you're back. What can I do for you? That C7 <laughs> droid absolutely infuriates me. Needs help to do my job, do I? I would be happy to help you, but mm -hmm. as long as that C7 unit is perched at the door, I can't. You want me to cut him down? Well, no, wait. if the C7 unit were to be disabled, my programming would require me to take over his responsibilities in his absence. <laughs> so if he was disabled, you say? Yes, 
I would be willing to give you access to the next room. Okay. So, I just need to get, uh... Alright. Yeah, everything's empty so far. Yes, what is it? You can't be serious. I am not in need of the activation. What are you <laughs> talking about? How dreadful. Oh. Oh, we're just going straight up into combat. I thought I was going to be able to, like, slice into him or something. Alright, uh... Boop. Oh. Is he seriously trying to, like, slap at me? Th this is... This is almost laughable. <laughs> will show him. Obsolete piece of junk indeed. Yes, of course. I'll get that open right away. Wow. This planet is all sorts of special. I, I just rolled up and, and, and started blasting on a superior. And he goes, eh, it'll show him. You're Let me welcome. open the door for you. Here's the keys to the vault. Wow. Hardly pays any attention to the warehouse. He won't even notice the change. Yikes. Yes, I would appreciate it if you kept it to yourself. Okay. That that actually wasn't what I was after, but There. Those are my only options. Nothing on the body, nothing in the terminal. This droid is busy and ignores you. Any boxes? No? Communications droid. I'll come back to him in a minute. Maintenance droid. He's busy and ignores me. He's busy and ignores me. Is he also busy and ignores me? Yep. I think I'm noticing a pattern. Okay. Let's check the box first. Some droid motivator type stuff. Nice. Alright, let's start with uh, home skillet and communications. Hmm. I'm sorry, but I'm terribly busy. Unless you're here to help me with repairs, please let me get on with my work. I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm trying to repair a communications relay. It must be running in time for the next set of transmissions. Daily transmissions are made of the docking schedules in addition to the work records for the warehouse. No, I don't think there's anything strange about that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my work. Like, dude. I could help you, you know. Fine. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's start with this the tall guy. This area is restricted. Please return to your designated area. Please excuse <laughs> my companion. He is easily excitable and takes our duty very seriously. In the hopes of avoiding an incident, I ask you to please return to your post. Door? I'm sorry. I don't believe I know what you are referring to. Are you kidding you must me? be mistaken. There is nothing of the sort. Now please, move along. Lying to you? But that would go against my programming. Please, as I said, you should yeah, return okay. to your post. I don't like your tone, mister. I still don't like your tone, mister. I have no idea what they, these two are saying to each other. That that is one of the most more infuriating parts. Like it started as an in joke, but it it this gets annoying. Now now T one N one. He is right about your size. Being touchy about it won't change anything. 
<laughs> Can I get you two to shoot at each other? <laughs> Poke him. Oh my, this is what I was afraid of. You have made him angry. Oh, okay. So it's going to be like that, is it? Um, let's see which one of those two does better. He actually not landing any attacks. I probably should check how many charges are left on that arm. He has always been excitable, but recently he's been like this. There was nothing I could do to stop him. If I tried to leave, he would threaten me. Now I am free, thanks to you. Uh. Okay. I have no idea what just happened. I am so confused. Like... Is this place that bad that I can just go incite trouble and then... Oh man, I'm so happy I'm away from that. Peace out, man. Oh. Huh. He's gone. Like... He didn't just leave, like, a little bit. He left a lot. He's gone. Peace out. All right, let's start with the door controls. Uh, uh room access rotations. Um... Journal entry added. The door in the warehouse is locked. Through a series of three turns, you must convert the top set of characters to match the bottom. For example, if you twisted the center block cl clockwise, the result would be... Oh. Okay. So I've got to get it to be that code. Is that going to tell me what the code is? Yeah, okay. So I need to do the center counterclockwise. The right clockwise. And then the left counterclockwise. There we go. Oot. Okay. Onwards and forwards. Oh my, you startled me. What are you doing here? Yeah, that sounds startled. I monitor the transponder codes of all ships leaving the docks. Then you transmit do, do you? information for any of Bogota Hut's freighters. Is that so? The information is sent to a remote computer system. Oh, I see. <laughs> In that case, I will upload the transponder codes to you. And here's the blank transponder card you need. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go back to monitoring the traffic. It is important that relevant departure information is relayed as quickly as possible. Is that so? All right. Huh. So there's a secret communications room in the warehouse uploading freighter codes to an... Uh, okay, I bet I bet these droids belong to uh, Godo. I'm sorry. I'm quite busy at the moment. All right, those are the only two things you can click on or do anything with in there. 
Uh, there's the withered husk of my late enemy. There's the box. Well, now I'm wondering if it's worth sneaking in here. What about you, Mr. Communications? There's nobody else in there? There's nobody else. In there. Okay, there's nothing else to click on in there anyway. Oh! Who are you? You're not supposed to be here. Uh oh. This could be bad. Statement. You have the list of Voga's launch codes. You will give these to us now, or else we will be forced to huh. take drastic action. Surprised statement. You are foolish to think we will allow you to take that information back to your master. Uh. Amused query. I think you will find the odds are somewhat in our favor. Now, will you be giving us the codes or not? Incredulous statement. <laughs> then we will have to take them from you, which I assure you was our preference to begin with. Oh. All right, then. Let's do this. Let's, um... Uh... Poison grenade is not going to help. Sonic grenade is not going to help. Adhesive plasma. Let's get an ion grenade. Let's get a deflector shield. Um. We'll keep those handy. And then we'll do a shock arm. And see where things go from there. Optimal accuracy ratio achieved. Come on, get him. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get another repair kit in the mix. There we go. So far, so good. Get him! Finish him! <laughs> Don't just let him stand. All right. What do we got for remains? Hey, I think that's the missing uh, HK piece, and we can actually get uh, our own HK droid back up. Agility upgrade, Unity grid. All right. So soon we'll. Uh, the nice thing is, is I think this means that that will be the last of the droids that we were going to get. Is just these two guys. Uh, which means that once I get the other HK up and running, I can get these two equipped with all the droid components that I was going to u ever use for them. And um, and then I can break the rest down for parts, which is good, because I could use more parts. I could always use more parts. I, can, I, can I talk to the comms guy now? Or did the comms guy get shot? I, I still... I still think you should be able to interact with that, but I guess not. Or is this one of those not yet? Okay. Alright. Then, uh... Everything's healed up before we go any further. Let's do something we haven't done in a little while. Save the game. There we go. And, if you want to find out how far past the door I get, you'll have to do one of two things. Either you'll have to stay tuned on the live stream if you're watching live as I record this, or you'll have to check the next episode if you're watching later on YouTube. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And 
If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.